You're a good soldier, choosing your battle. Pick yourself up and dust yourself off and back in the saddle. You're on the front line, everyone's watching. You know it's serious, we're getting closer, this isn't over. The pressure's on. This is Africa. Samina mina, eh eh. Waka waka, eh eh. Samina mina, sakalewa. This time for Africa. Listen to your God. This is our motto. Your time to shine. Don't wait. decided to use this opportunity to introduce the school to them and also introduce them to the school. That is the essence of this uh, meeting by way of court seeker. So they would like to meet with you, tell you what they do, and then we also tell them what we do. But the meeting point is chess for now, and there are many other things that will come up out of that interaction. So. We do a, a self-introduction to make it easy. And my name is Father Francis Chiade. I'm the director of Sports and Games Unit, Dominican University. And we're here to facilitate this uh, encounter. So this is the vice chancellor. She does not require introduction, but I just have to try. This is Professor Jacinta Opera. She is the Substantive Vice Chancellor of the Dominican University, and uh, she's the first female Vice Chancellor, and she's always eager to do things in a way that will promote excellence, and that is why she's here. And we believe that chess is one of the things that can nurture the mind, and that is why we believe that we need to integrate it fully as part of our co-curricular activities. So that's why we're bringing it up to her to attention, believing that she will give you the necessary endorsement and support. So that's why we're here. So next, then the introduction. I'm here in the I work at the admissions office of the Nuka University. She's a facilitator of the chess. Yeah, she's a facilitator of chess. In the, for the club. So, the so, chess family, I don't play I, chess. Play but I support my kids and the young ones. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Olago Disho Fuduwe. I'm Oyo State uh, Chess Coach and also the Vice Chairman to of Oyo State Chess Association. I uh, work mainly with uh, grassroots uh, development of chess and also with uh, uh, the, the State Sports Council. Which you also an investor? Yeah, I'm also currently a master student in the University of Ibadan Public Health, Child and Adolescent Health. Thank you. My name is Mendele Ibadan. I'm the Child and University Chess Association. Um, I work at the um, Innovation Lab for Policy Leadership and Agriculture Food Security, University of Ibadan. So my background is um, agricultural economics. I'm also the same director at the um, African Network for Agriculture Forest Research Institute based in Osaka, Zambia. Um, I, you know, I love chess. And then um, uh, you are also a stakeholder, Madam Equator, a stakeholder. But like I said earlier, chess has so many um, people that make up the chess community. So whether you play or not, if you are supporting your kids, you will be a stakeholder. As a matter of fact, parents are key drivers of chess for children. Because if, as children, if a child cannot go for a tournament on his or home, so the parents play major support. The current best female chess player in Nigeria is 12 years old, the Mona Kukpen. And her mother has been a solid support system for her. She traveled with her everywhere. And then, you can imagine if she wasn't a lover of chess, she didn't like the parents, didn't like chess, she wouldn't have achieved what she has you know, um, currently. So, we are all stakeholders, right? Whether you are playing pitches or not. Thank you.
I am Mafalake Ezekiel. I am the veterinary doctor. Um, I'm the vice chairperson of the Estate Chess Association. I'm also running my consultancy with the College of Veterinary Surgeon. So, in my final year. Okay. okay, my name is Olatu Sadebola. I'm the final year student of the Department of Sociology, University of Ibadan. I'm the female chess captain of the chess club in University of Ibadan. So, apart from being a student, I create content and manage social media accounts for chess brands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, my name is Apollo Replessi. I'm the um, vice captain of the chess club at University of Ibadan. I'm also a medical student. I'm um, studying medicine and surgery at the University of Ibadan. Uh, aside my academics, I'm, I'm an avid chess player, so I enjoy playing chess a lot. I'm um, playing for quite some time. I'm winning competitions. You're welcome. I see a few people were uh, somewhere and they were having our meeting. Yes. This was exactly the issue I raised today at the meeting that our students have to be engage in social activities because you can't uh, my people used to say all work and no play make jack and all work. so we have to also engage them in uh, social activities not every time they do it and i think uh, it came at the right time i was uh, happy too they agreed with me and uh, i think this is one of the things we have to yeah, present to them as well because uh, we need to engage our students. We, we, we have to create social life for them because uh, I know games also help the brain. It helps the brain. It also keeps one busy because I don't mind at times. And also when you read and read and read for a long time, you get bored. You need social life to. Uh, 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 apart from this alone, other games they can engage in, yeah, that will improve their both uh, mental and physical health. That necessary. It was even a suggestion I gave to them today, and they agreed with me that they are going to uh, discuss with you and uh, Father Patrick, who is the dean's best affair, to tell us some of the things we can uh, incorporate into our. Activities for our students to enjoy, not only reading and reading. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, we have uh, done facility to while we are waiting for the management to be done with the meeting. And yeah, uh, I see you here now. We don't have to get here now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy it came at the right time. We need it. Thank you so much. So, because of the time already spent, we'll just have a group picture okay. and then we'll follow up with the other necessary documentation to make the collaboration more formidable. So, that's the purpose of this uh, meeting. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I, just add to, I just want to acknowledge and thank you to Father Charlie for, for his drive and the, the passion he has for the game. He has really been, um, you know, um, most of the times when we go out to, um, you know, to organizations, institutions, we are the ones who really try to like impress on them the need for chess. But this time around, is a different ball game. He is the one who is showing interest, and that's why. We all here, as we all introduce ourselves, um, we probably could have been somewhere else, but because we also, um, you know, have very strong passion for chess, and then he has brought his energy, you know, to it, and then we believe very well that, um, you know, and like Madam Vice Chancellor mentioned, um, you know, if students need other, you know, need to be built <coughs> holistically. It's not just to get your degrees. Uh, in academic and in uh, character and learning. So <clears throat> other aspects of life shapes one's character and chess there's so many values that chess, you know, that people can learn from chess. Critical thinking, the act of strategy, you know, the um, spot matching, patience, because 
chest requires a lot of patience. You need to uh, be able to um, relax. If you're opening, your, open, your opening makes a move. You need to be patient to understand it, to anticipate to what the what your response will be and what is your own response will be. Possibly 10, 11, up to 20, 30 moves ahead. So it's a game of strategy and uh, we believe it will help the students a lot. Like you also rightly mentioned, it helps distraction, it takes them away from other distractions, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you know, uh, when we do uh, the academics is the primary purpose of coming to the university, um, you know, uh, the, um, there's a need to engage in some other things that will you know, shape your life. Chess is a good, uh, it's a good sport. I can achieve that, you know, can help the students achieve that. Thank you. So stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions. There's one thing you have to understand with the university community is that there is curricular and there is what I call co curricular activities. Even the generally called extracurricular activities, but that has to be modified because today we know that. Games and sports are part and integral part of the curriculum, so it's a co-curricular activity. So, singling out on chess, the chess association or your state came to visit our school. They had audience with the vice chancellor and some other members of the university community to share their joy with us because this year marked the hundredth anniversary of the Federation of Chess in the world. So we are very grateful for this wonderful honor given to us for this visit. And they were very happy with the Vice Chancellor. In fact, they made the Vice Chancellor remember the old days of the game. And she was even eager to say that uh, we'll be part of this game going forward. So we are very happy for this encounter. Chess is um, a board game. I guess the most widely played board game and um, um, it has 64 squares. Uh, it is played between two people. Um, uh, it's um, one of the greatest inventions, if I would put it that way, because um, it, uh, there are so many dimensions to chess. Um, chess has, is one of the sports that, has, um, that is widely researched. Okay, a lot of journal articles published on chess. Um, there's an aspect of economics uh, called games theory that um, centers around chess. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think uh, chess is a beautiful game. And um, the game is a game that um, requires um, critical thinking, you know, um, a very strong analytical mind. Uh, and, um, it does so much for the individual. And um, there are so many lessons one can, you know, learn uh, from chess, can imbibe. Uh, you know, to um, even one's personal life, right? Uh, like I said earlier, it enables you to think critically, analyze, take decisions, right? And be responsible for those decisions, right? And um, in chess, is like a battle, you know, battle of minds, right? You try to anticipate um, your opponent's moves, possibly 10, 11 moves ahead, you know, if with grandmasters, a lot of grandmasters who able to analyze up to 20 or even more moves I, you need to uh, understand the variations you know possible if you make a move you need to uh, anticipate what your um, opponent's response will be and you also need to um, you know have in mind what your own response will be so uh, there's a popular saying um, commented by one of the a chess legend Emmanuel Lasker uh, is um, uh, when you see a good move look for a better one so in chess there are usually um, better moves when you see a good move you need to relax pause hold on you know think well before you make that move because there might be a better one on the board so chess is a game that uh, brings people together right um, people make friends um, along when you play and you make enemies as well you know uh, and um, it, it encourages um, sorry I was just uh, that, was on the, that was on the light and the bottom. it encourages sportsmanship 
I think chess is the only game. Okay, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, not the only game, but in chess, before every move, uh, before every game, you shake hands, and at the end of every game, you also shake hands. So that is to tell you the you know um, you know the sports manliness in chess that it um, it, um, it encourages. Chess has um, given has made a lot of impact personally for me. Uh, chess. It's actually a strategic game that helps to improve one's critical thinking, which is paramount and can be attributed to life's uh, daily living. When you talk about critical thinking and uh, problem solving, we find ourselves in uh, situations where we need to make decisions, we need to uh, uh, make uh, uh, decisions that can affect a lot of uh, outcomes, and then when you look at chess as a game that has to do with making moves, it has actually helped me to uh, think critically and uh, provide solutions to challenges that comes my way. Aside that, it has also helped me to become much more organized with my daily living. Because when you look at the game of chess also, it, it, it teaches you to be organized. It also helps with uh, concentration. You know, as a global world or a global village that we are now, there are lots of distractions that come our way, especially when we have to deal with our daily lifestyle and our daily activities. And you know, for you to be good at chess, you need to learn to concentrate. So chess has helped me to make a critical decisions with a high level of concentration that helps me to think and facilitate my thoughts. Well, chess has taught me time management because it's there's um, you have to be able to manage your academic life as well as your fun life, your, what you do for pleasure. And intellectually, chess helped me develop problem solving skills. When I see a problem, my the first thing that comes to mind is not how difficult the problem is, but how can it be solved? What are the step the stages? analytical thinking, critical thinking. Chess has helped me grow in life in general. And as a mother and a wife with my career, I can manage everything. It's not easy, but it has made it easier because of my experience as a chess player. Chess, chess is more like, if you, if you know chess, well, chess relates more to life, chess is like life. You know, the, everything that applies to chess applies to life. It helps you to be more strategic as an individual. Chess brings about opportunities. For me, to my own personal self, I think chess brings about more opportunities for you. It enlightens your mind. It helps you network with better people. It broadens your mind generally. That's, that's what chess does. It teaches a lot of beautiful qualities. Qualities like patience, strategy, calmness generally. So chess teaches you to be a calm person in an otherwise tense situation. Chess also teaches strategy. Okay. Chess is a game where you have to calculate moves ahead, you have to know exactly what you are doing, try and read your opponent. And chess also teaches patience. You have to be like patient with your plans. You just don't want to rush. Okay. So chess personally has taught me these lessons. In addition to like giving me an opportunity to meet like minds, meet people who share like the same passion as myself. So in that way, chess has been very beneficial to me. Yes, at two levels, we have already started the the club for the chess, but not yet fully inaugurated. So the inauguration will be the booster that will explode the awareness among the students and members of staff and the external community who are very close to us. So we hope to have a tournament which in the partnership with the chess or your state chess association we will be able to host a tournament here with not less than 100 players at least to play chess to encourage all the chess players both those who are active and those who are yet to join so we're very glad to have this wonderful opportunity uh, dominica university is um is a great university though young but um, i think um, it it is um, the, the foundation you know i'm a catholic and um, i know and we all know in Nigeria and even all over the world what the Catholic Church stands for in terms of education. Uh, the Catholic Church has probably been responsible for the 
um, the, the, for the milestone the country has achieved in education over the years, right? Since independence and all of that, the missionaries, you know, so and not just education, health and other things. So uh, the university founded on that premise, on the, you know, the principle of the Catholic Church, uh, one can not expect anything less. And then um, I'm really amazed, you know, as to the passion to which the, um, the director of sports, you know, and the leadership of the university is um, trying to um, take, um, you know, imbibing chess as a culture, that's what I see. You know, the, the, from the, it's, it's a cultural thing that I can see in the university, uh, um, you know, um, be wanting to associate itself with chess. And that also um, shows what um, the values, you know, the university stands for. So uh, it's a great partnership um, with um, the Oil State Chess Association, just as um, the association has always done with them. Um, um, institutions and um, other organizations that are interested in chess. We believe chess um, can be a tool, a, a viable tool for educational enhancement. Um, it helps students. If you're, a, if you're a good chess player, naturally you'll be, you'll be critical in your thoughts. Okay, you you want to analyze. You want to, it helps your academics. Uh, you know, especially at the younger age, it's always good. You know, you start early, but notwithstanding, the people that have learned chess at the university level and have, have gone to become professional and you know great players. So it is never too late to learn, right? So a fresher in the university can pick up chess, you know, and eventually, uh, you know, become a great, a good player. If you dedicate you know, your time, of course, apart, apart from your studies, your prim primary aim of the students here is their academics. But, you know, the university system is supposed to build an individual holistically. So apart from the academics, because life is not all about academics, there's so many things, um, you know, life has, you know, um, you know, um, the mixed life. So chess can be part of it. Anyone who takes in chess, students who take in chess, I believe will see something um, will be better off. Right, so it's a great partnership, and we are really excited. The association is excited, and um, really, you know, happy with the drive that um, the university is also um, bringing on board. Uh, bringing chess to Dominican University is going to impact a lot in uh, development of chess, not just in Oyo State, not just in Dominican University, but even globally. As of today, I can say that. There has been an increased awareness in the game across the globe, courtesy a lot of uh, outreach by notable individuals across the globe. And uh, even in Nigeria, we have uh, these uh, chess and slum activities um, being pioneered by uh, Tunde Onokoya, who has helped bring much more recognition to chess. And you can, and as you can see, you know, uh, the Unicorn University at the moment is trying to uh, encourage and uh, groom uh, their students in the way of uh, the game of chess. And I can tell you that chess will help to bring the name of the school into much more publicity. We have seen many events that have helped organizations to become uh, noted or notable because of the game of chess. I can categorically tell you that there are lots of activities and lots of events that even universities are engaging over over a course of time that will help Dominica University to become much more recognized. Aside that, it's going to actually impact on the academic performances of their students. Over time, we have uh, come to uh, realize that chess helps to improve the intellectual qualities of children, of students, of uh, any uh, scholar that is intending to uh, learn in their various fields, because it helps you to improve your memory thing, your memory capacity, because it helps you to concentrate, it helps you to organize yourself. So I can tell you that bringing chess or uh, partnering with Oyo State Chess Association is a, one of the best decisions that Dominica University is making at this point in time, and we as uh, the executive members of the association are ready to put our full backing with the help of uh, other universities that we are working with and with the help of our members and volunteers. We can categorically tell you that with time, uh, chess in Dominican University 
tend to bring many recognitions and many notable achievements to the school, even in terms of sports, in terms of academics, and even in terms of social engagements over time. Just needs a platform. And I think this this partner is going to be is going to be a good platform to broaden the awareness about chess. Chess is a very beautiful game that I believe everyone should have an idea about. Even if you don't play it, but have an idea about it. Just like football, that everybody has an idea about it. Even though you cannot play it. That's where I feel chess is. So, but maybe with Dominican University will bring more awareness to the students, to bring more awareness to chess in universities, which is where Dominican University is one of them. And also to the society generally, to impart onto your states in general. It will bring about more awareness, more publicity for the game. And people will be able to be involved in the game. That's that's what I think. Everybody needs chess. That's my own opinion. Because like um, the qualities that makes you a good chess player will also make you good at life. So I believe it's a good addition to the curriculum. And it's also nice to see that the coordinator, Father Francis, uh, shares a very big passion for chess. So I'm sure with that kind of um, leadership, like the students are really going to enjoy full benefits from playing chess.